part four using the Lippmann stethoscope. The Lippmann stethoscope has a Bluetooth dongle that connects via USB to your laptop. You want to connect that to your laptop before beginning use of the Lippmann stethoscope. Once connected, it should start flashing. There it goes. You then need to click on the Zargus ETH Steth, which is located under your start menu. You need to turn on the Lippmann stethoscope by pressing the large round circle on the stethoscope itself. Back to the computer, your Zargus asks if you would like to connect your stethoscope. You want to click on Yes, Connect Now. And then it gives you instructions on the screen how to connect it. If you look onto the stethoscope and you click the M but button, and then click the M button again to connect. The page disappears and you now have a green icon showing that you are currently connected. And you can now start by clicking start, which will bring up a field. You can use the e death to take lung sounds, heart sounds, and bowel sounds. You need to click the appropriate picture for what sounds you are going to collect. Once you are ready, you can hit OK, and then you can collect the lung sounds on your patient. Press M to start, right? Press M to start recording the lung sounds of your patient. Once it has recorded, you need to make sure that the field is highlighted in blue as shown. Go to File, click Export Recording as WAVE, drop down your menu to Local Disk C, and double click the Capture Underscore Upload, then name your file. and hit save. Minimize the Zargus software and back into your patient's record in Teleatrics. Click on the black arrow under media files. It should turn red while it uploads and will turn back to black once it's completed the upload as shown. Remember to always hit save in your patient file to save the record.